In this video, we'll cover gradebook basic, basics once you have set up your gradebook. Let's look at the choices along the top first. Click on these little arrows to open other options. So this is showing us a gradebook, but from here you can also view mastery badges and attendance. This allows you to uh, switch back and forth between grading periods. So this course has only one grading period, but your course will have a grading period for fall 2016 and one for spring 2017. You can uh, view the categories, uh, assignments in all categories, or you can choose to view individual categories um, and just the assignments contained in that. You can choose how to view your assignments by due date, ascending or descending, or by date created, ascending or descending. This view area allows you to highlight cells for things like uh, assignments that are marked excused, things that need grading, etc. This plus sign allows you to add materials from this location, from the gradebook. So Schoology allows you to add content from uh, many different pages. So you might uh, add a, uh, an assignment or test or discussion here. You uh, can also add a grade column. So this can be helpful when you um, uh, don't have an assignment created but want to grade something. So for example, you let's say that you're in the middle of science uh, class and you make an impromptu decision to have students create skits about moon phases. So you can add a grade column directly into your gradebook even though you have not previously created an assignment for moon phase skits. Just allows you to um, add a, a grade to something that you uh, sort of design and create on the spot. Um, the three little little uh, dots here, if you click on that, you have some other, uh, gives you more options. And the one that I think is most important here is bulk edit. And we'll come back and spend a whole video on that later on. These little arrows allow you to toggle full screen so you can see more of your grade book at one time and then click back to go back to your previous screen. The button up here is um, not really part of the gradebook, but you'll find this in a couple of different, uh, on many of your pages, allows you to switch courses quickly. So when you click on that, you, uh, it's just another way to quickly switch to another course. Let's look at the columns now. Students are listed here. Clicking on the little uh, graph icon here will show the grades for just that one student. So all the grades for one student. This um, column is the overall grade for the course, this one the overall grade for that particular grading period. These are all of the columns for assignments, discussions, etc. that are in your course. As you create your assignments, discussions, and other materials, they automatically populate the gradebook as long as you assign them a grading category. They're listed in the order you selected either by due date or date created. Assignments with no due date will appear at the very beginning of the gradebook um, listing. Um, all of the titles are hyperlinked. If you hover over one of the titles, you get a little bit more information. And then if you click on it, it will actually open that assignment or quiz or discussion. The little three dots here, click on those for more information. You can track revisions here and do several other actions that will apply to the entire column. If students submit assignments electronically and you grade the assignment, the grades will automatically populate the gradebook. If a student hands in a paper assignment, you simply put your cursor into the cell and you can add enter the grade there. If you hover over the cell, you get some other options. So click on this little flag here to mark an, uh, an assignment as excused or incomplete. You can um, click on this little speech bubble and you get a little pop-up window where you can type a comment. You can choose to display that comment to the student or not. In some cases, you may want to just make a reminder to yourself about something in relationship to that grade. Um, otherwise, you may want the student to see it. And these comments are displayed in the individual student's um, grade report. Let's look at some examples of submitted work. This icon indicates that the student made an online submission. 
and then you can see that's been graded. This icon is uh, means a student has uh, submitted a quiz, completed a quiz, and if you click on any of these little icons, it will actually open that student's submission. This little icon means the student has participated in a discussion. This symbol here um, indicates that that assignment is has been marked as incomplete. This green symbol here indicates that it's been excused. Both incomplete and excused are registered as blanks in the gradebook and are not factored into the student grades. This icon here shows that the teacher has overridden um, a grade and you can click on that icon to clear the override. So one last comment about um, assignments, quizzes, and discussions. They populate the gradebook, calendar, and course materials simultaneously. And any changes you make in one area are simultaneously made in all other areas. So if you delete an assignment in the gradebook, it disappears from the calendar and the course materials page as well. If you change a quiz title in the gradebook, it changes everywhere else. So it's just good to remember that when you're making changes um, in one area, it affects the, the way that assignment or quiz or discussion will appear throughout the entire course.